Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope everything is fine with all of you. Today we will st study about family papillonaceae in our course plant systematics and development. Uh, before starting today lecture, here I want to share a quote with you. Plants gives us oxygen for the lungs and for the soul. So now let's start our today lecture. The family Leguminaceae is actually divided into three subfamilies. Subfamily Papillonaceae or Fibaceae, subfamily Cecilpinaceae and the subfamily Mimosvite. As I discussed, uh, we will discuss, uh, we will study about subfamily Papillonaceae or Fibaceae in today lecture. Actually the Fibaceae family or the Leguminaceae family are a large and economically important uh, family of the flowering plant. Uh, uh, the Some identifying feature of this family are flowers are medianly zygomorphic, calyx gamosepalus and imbricate while corolla are papillonaceous and vexillary. Stamens usually 10 but diadelphous stamens so rarely monoadelphous. So let's start our two-day lecture. The family Fibaceae or family Leguminaceae, it is also called the family Fibaceae, commonly called, uh, commonly known as the legume family or the pea family, bean family or the pulse family. The name Fibaceae comes from the uh, genus Faba, uh, now included into Visia. And Leguminaceae is an older name still considered valid and refers to the typical flowers of these plants which are called Legio. According to Bentham and Hooker system of classification, the family Papillonaceae placed under Kingdom Planty, Individual and Geospharmy, in class Dicotylidine, in order Rosales, and the family is Fabaceae or the Papillonis. Now we are going to discuss about the distribution pattern of the family Leguminaceae or Fabaceae over the family Papillonaceae. Here you can see the distribution pattern related to this family. Uh, the member of these families are being distributed in the temperate regions of both northern and the southern hemisphere. And uh, the Fibaceae family are the largest, uh, third largest family of flowering plants behind Orchidaceae and Estraceae. Uh, this large family contains about 480 genera and about 12,000 species, uh, hence the distribution is very, uh, is cosmopolitan. Indigofera restrigalis with more than 900 species, Indigofera with 700 species and other large genera include Crotularia with 600 species, hence the family is very Consider is third large, largest family of flowering plants. Plant shows great variation in habit and it may be herbs. Uh, so generally the plants are herbs or shrubs, offering climbers. Very rarely trees. Uh, Sometimes they are hydrophytes and xerophytes. Most of the plants are xerophytes. Most of the members are cultivated in the field which yield pulses. Leaves are well developed or much reduced in family Papillonaceae. The herbs, annual or biennial or perennial leaves are usually alternate and simple. 
सिंपल लीव मीन्स आ सिंपल लीव इज अ सिंगल लीव दैट इज नेवर डिवाइडेड इन टू स्मॉलर लीव लेट यूनिट्स इट इज ऑलवेज अटैच टू टो बाइट स्टैम और द पिट्यूल In ordinate leafed plants, the leaves are single at each node and borne along the along the uh, stem ordinately in an ascending spiral. While they are mostly compound. Uh, compound leaves means. Uh, Uh, in contrast to a single leaf the compound leaf is a leaf whose leaflets are attached to the middle vein but have their own stalk on a compound leaf you should ex- expect a bud node at the base of each stem petiole but no bud node at the base of each leaflet on midribs and the rhesus of the compound leaves the uh, mostly they are unifoliate foliate is the term which is used for uh, leaves and uni means one so actually unifol uh, pinnate means uh, it is solitary compound leaf with a row of leaflets arranged along each side of a common rhesus means leaflets this is the unipinnate uh, unifol uh, pinnate Uh, pinnately leaves or the palmately compound leaves the leaflets uh, radiate form of a single point at the distal end of the petiole in pinnately compound leaves a row of leaflets forms on either side of an extension of the petiole called the rhesus so it is uh, the leaf which resembles to the papaya uh, leaf or permitly compound leaf the stipule sometimes present so sometimes the leaves are stipulate inflorescence the inflorescence in family peplionaceae is usually solid axillary solitary uh, so commonly axillary leaf opposite uh, or terminal racemes sometimes the flowers are uh, arranged in panicle or dense axillary head uh, heads or they are solitary so uh, the raceme the spike and the contracted racemes or heads are the common inflorescence type present in the family peplionaceae the flowers are often bracteate as well as bracteolate they are pedicellate flowers having uh, stalk with flowers zygomorphic or irregular symmetrical uh, symmetry of the flowers that is uh, uh, when flowers cut from any angle uh, it is not divided equally from more than two planes hermaphrodite means uh, they are bisexual both the sex organs that is endrysium and the gynoecium both are present in in a same flower so the flowers are complete and the corolla are peplionaceous peplionaceous means the axillary aciation pentamerous uh, flowers pentamerous means uh, five petals and the sepals hypogynous or epigynous both conditions are present in a flower of peplionaceae hypogynous means when ovary is superior, superior the flower is called hypogynous and when ovary is uh, lower uh, the position low, um, from the sepals and the corolla or petals the ovary is called epigynous condition the so flowers are uh, complete hermaphrodite zygomorphic and hypogynous or epigynous this picture represent the corolla peplionaceous corolla and in this picture you can see 
the uh, all the bulbs present in a flower to flower that complete these are the petals these are the stamens and these are the uh, stigma so this is the stigma stamens and the petals and below the petals sepals are present so the flowers are complete bisexual zygomorphic uh, when we cut uh, from uh, cut this flower uh, on the f uh, they can be divided from uh, only one plane equally while uh, when we divided or cut this flower uh, not more than one half uh, equal they are not equally divided so the flowers are irregular or zygomorphic calyx consists of five sepals uh, that is, and uh, the sepals are united uh, that is the gamosepalous condition is present uh, all the sepals uh, you can see here are united to each other so the sepals are gamosepalous or sepals anterior and the sepaloid ascending imbricate estivation uh, equals or unequal condition uh, sepals anterior uh, means odd sepals anterior means the sepals are can be equal or unequal and below the disc united in the tubular calyx five tooth or five lobed a bilipate condition is present and estuation is ascending imbricate so the situation of calyx in family papilinaceae is this like this Corolla actually consists of five unequal petals, in which one uppermost and the largest petal is known as the standard of the vaxillum, and the two free lateral petals are known as wings, and the interior two united petals is termed as keel. Uh, this includes stamens and the pistil. Uh, they are of various uh, colors. You can see here the estivation of uh, the the estivation, which is known as axillary axillary estivation, uh, shows the irregular symmetrical uh, symmetry of flowers. That is the zygomorphic condition of the flowers. Androecium is the male reproductive organ of the uh, flowers. The stamens are usually Ten in number, uh, inserted on a disc below the calyx, and they may be in two bundles. That is diadephus of nine plus one or five plus five, or in one bundle, uh, rarely that is monoadelphus. It is a rare condition. Rarely free, uh, anthers by cell and dorsifix dehiscence by longitudinal. Splits. Here in this picture, you can see the diadelphus condition uh, in most of the uh, family, like uh, in Clytoria. Uh, ten uh, stamens are present here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine are present in one bundle, while the remaining one is separated from this bundle. So the uh, Stamens, 10 stamens are present in two bundles. So, the, this term is diadelphus stamens. The diadelphus stamen is the characteristic feature of the family Papilionaceae. Gynecium is the female reproductive organ of the flower. Uh, so, carpal. Carpal is present in family Papilionaceae is one, and uh, which are free uh, means the syncarpus condition, and ovary is a superior stop or sessile. Unilocular and marginal placentation uh, is present in the family Solanaceae. So the gynecium is monocarpillary. Monocarpillary means as we have uh, we discussed the carpal is one 
and the also uh, ovary superior means when the ovary is present above the calyx and corolla in the flower unilocular means one chamber marginal presentation means when the uh, ovule are present in one compartment that is unilocular and uh, ovules are attached with the placenta from one margin of the uh, ovary so the placentation is known as exile placentation when it is attached from the marginal position margin so you can say uh, you can see here example of placentation uh, pl uh, marginal placentation and the unilocular and the monocapillary condition of uh, in pea plant uh, this is uh, this pea plant belong to this family aap matter ke under dekh sakte hain ki ek hi compartment ke andar bahut sare ovules seeds ke form mein jo mature hoke seeds ke form mein hain ek hi margin ke sath attached hain right to aap yahan par ye example pe dekh sakte hain ovary superior ki ki calyx and corolla are present uh, below the ovary so the position of the ovary is superior and stigma is capitate or simple what is mean by capitate stigma this is the diagram of capitate stigma the presence of legume or pod like uh, fruit is the uh, in the plant is the characteristic feature of family pipliunaceae these are indehiscent fruit uh, which are present in dalbergia and lamentum in elaici carpus these are the example of legume fruit in uh, pea plant so these are pod like legume fruit so it is now come to discuss the floral diagram of the family pipliunaceae the family pipliunaceae flower is Uh, presented as bracteate or ebracteate condition they are zygomorphic bisexual condition zygomorphic means their flowers are irregular uh, when we uh, dissect from uh, more than one plane flowers are unequal this is the condition or because of the unequal patterns and the uh, bisexual or hermaphrodite condition means calyx and corolla and the uh, androecium and the gynoecium both are present same uh, flower calyx are five in number and which are uh, which can be united corolla are five and the aciation is vexillary so the large petals are free vexillum or standard petal is uh, free to uh, another wing uh, uh, petals are also free while two anterior small petals are joined with each other as united petals so uh, represent in the floral formula as in the bracket androecium are 10 uh, stamens androecium have 10 stamens Uh, in two bundles that is the diadelphus condition is present in this uh, family yahan par aap us yahan pe correction kar lijiyega ye angiosperm uh, ki book hai jiske andar se aapko main yahan pe show kar rahi hu lekin dad kahin kahin pe kuch families ke andar monadelphus condition bhi maujood hoti hai as i have discussed in uh, last slides और कहीं पर ये डायडल्फिस कंडीशन होती है मोस्टली डायडल्फिस कंडीशन होती है डायडल्फिस में इसको आप सेपरेट कर लीजिएगा एक सेपरेट होगा और नाइन जो है वो एक जगह पर होगा एंड द ओव्यूल इज मोनोकार्पिलरी एंड मार्जिनल प्रेजेंटेशन इज शोइंग हेयर सो दिस आर द फ्लोरा फॉर्मूल एंड फ्लोरा डायग्राम ऑफ द फैमिली now come to discuss economic importance of the family some plants of this family are used as food materials such as arhar same matter soybean 
मोर्थ बीन चना मसूर मूंग एंड दिस आर सपोज टू कंटेन वेरी हाई परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रोटीन का कंपेरेबल टू मीट ऑयल फ्रॉम ग्राउंड नट ऑयल इज ऑप्टीन विच इज यूज टू मैन्युफैक्चर बनास्पति की सो द सीड्स ऑफ ग्राउंड नट और द एरेकस हाइप्रोजिया आर प्रेस टू ऑप्टीन इन ऑयल एंड इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वेजिटेबल घी आफ्टर हाइड्रोजनेशन एंड लार्जली यूज एज सब्सटीट्यूट टू फॉर प्योर घी द ऑयल केक इज यूज फॉर कैचर फीडिंग एंड मूंगफली इज ऑल्सो इच एंड फॉर रोस्टिंग एज मेडिसिन ग्लाइसरी ग्लाइसीराइजर ग्लाबरा मुलाठी इज यूज इन थ्रॉट पेन एंड काफ एब्रिस Uh, is said to remove spots of leucoderma, and its seeds have constant weight to an astonishing degree, and traditionally used by goldsmiths. Cymopsis seeds are laxative and stimulant, and produce a colorless essential oil. As fiber, Crotalaria gentia, commonly called. sun hemp or the sun swan yields fibers which are used for making rope mat coats canvas sex nets etc it is a blast fiber as timber dalbergia sisu uh, commonly known as shisham is used to uh, uh, that yield timber as dye some plants are used for obtaining of dye such as indigo fera uh, commonly called as ornamental plants clytoria tenetia sesbania species peru balsam and lithiris odoratus are commonly used So friends thank you so much for being with me we will meet in our next lecture allah